He is known for his contributions to the foundations of the New Criticism, a formalist movement in literary theory. He is recognized for his work in close reading of literary texts, particularly poetry. He is I. Richards. I. Richards, a man of boundless intellect and literary prowess, emerged onto the intellectual scene as a trailblazer in the field of literary criticism. Born in England, Richards dedicated his life to understanding and unraveling the intricate workings of literature. His scholarly pursuits led him to become a key figure in the development of the New Criticism, a movement that sought to analyze literary texts in their entirety, uncovering the hidden layers of meaning within. With his keen analytical mind, Richards delved into the essence of language and its impact on thought. Collaborating with C. K. Ogden, he co-authored the groundbreaking work, The Meaning of Meaning, a study of the influence of language upon thought and of the science of symbolism. This seminal piece laid the foundation for the new criticism, emphasizing the significance of close reading and the self-contained nature of literary works. Richard's brilliance extended beyond theoretical frameworks. He put his ideas into practice through his books, Principles of Literary Criticism, Practical Criticism, and The Philosophy of Rhetoric. These works showcased his ability to analyze and interpret literature, providing readers with valuable insights into the complexities of artistic expression. Throughout his life, Richards remained steadfast in his belief that literature held the power to shape human understanding and consciousness. His profound impact on literary criticism continues to reverberate, as his teachings inspire generations of thinkers to explore the intricate beauty and profound depths of literature. I, Richards, a renowned philosopher and literary critic, believed that the study of literature should not be undertaken in isolation but should be explored alongside other fields of knowledge. Born in Sandbach, he received his education at Clifton College and Magdalene College, Cambridge. It was at Cambridge where his mentor, Charles Hickson, Cabby, Spence, nurtured his intellectual talents. Unlike many scholars of his time, Richards did not have formal training in literature. Instead, he pursued philosophy at Cambridge University, which shaped his belief that literary study in the 20th century should be integrated with related fields like philosophy, psychology, or rhetoric. He argued that this interdisciplinary approach could provide a richer understanding of literature and its connection to other aspects of human experience. Initially, Richards faced challenges in establishing himself as a literature teacher. Magdalene College, where he started his teaching career, was hesitant to fund his position due to the untested nature of English literature as an academic field. Undeterred, Richards took matters into his own hands and collected tuition directly from the students as they entered the classroom, adopting a more traditional approach to instruction. In 1926, Richards married Dorothy Pilly, whom he had met during a mountain climbing holiday in Wales. Their shared love for adventure and intellectual pursuits further enriched Richards' worldview and influenced his approach to literary analysis. During the 1929-30 academic years, Richards was invited as a visiting professor at Tsinghua University in Beijing, where he taught basic English and poetry. His expertise and teachings left a lasting impact on the students and the academic community in China. Later, from 1936 to 1938, Richard served as the director of the Orthological Institute of China, further contributing to the development of language and literary studies in the country. I, Richard's philosophy of interdisciplinary study continues to resonate today. By recognizing the interconnectedness of various fields, from literature to philosophy and beyond, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the human experience. This approach encourages us to explore diverse perspectives, question traditional boundaries, and find new ways to navigate the complexities of life. I. Richards, renowned linguist, philosopher, and writer, dedicated his life to exploring his intellectual interests and making significant contributions to various fields. One of his most notable collaborations was with Charles K. Ogden, a fellow scholar, in the creation of four influential books. In their book Foundations of Aesthetics, Richards and Ogden delved into the principles of aesthetic reception in the concept of harmony in literary theory. They argued that aesthetic understanding arises from the balance of competing psychological impulses. This work laid the groundwork for their later books, Basic Rules of Reason, Mencius on the Mind, Experiments in Multiple Definition, and Coleridge on Imagination, which further explored the intricacies of multiple definitions and the power of imagination. The Meaning of Meaning, a study of the influence of language upon thought and of the science of symbolism, another collaboration between Richards and Ogden, introduced the triadic theory of semiotics. This theory, which incorporated psychological elements, anticipated the importance of psychology in literary criticism. Scholars like Umberto Eco acknowledged that Richards and Ogden's methodology improved upon the earlier dyadic theory of semiotics presented by Ferdinand de Saussure. Richards and Ogden also ventured into the realm of language simplification with their work on basic English. 
In their book Basic English, a general introduction with rules and grammar, they proposed a simplified version of the English language consisting of only 850 words. They believed that this simplified language could serve as a universal tool for communication. In line with this vision, their book The Times of India Guide to Basic English aims to promote basic English as an international auxiliary language. Richard's travels, particularly his experiences in China, played a significant role in shaping his advocacy for an international program like Basic English. At Harvard University, Richards began integrating new media, particularly television, into his teaching methods, further reinforcing his commitment to global communication. I.A. Richards, a renowned literary critic, revolutionized the field with his unique approach to literary criticism. In his book, The Principles of Literary Criticism, Richards delved into various subjects such as form, value, rhythm, and coanesthesia. He believed that a book is not just a mere object, but rather a machine to think with. However, he emphasized that it should not overshadow the functions of other important aspects, such as the bellows or the locomotive. As an English literature instructor at Cambridge University, Richards conducted an empirical study called Practical Criticism. He removed authorial and contextual information from 13 poems and asked his students to write interpretations. This experiment aimed to uncover the potential obstacles that could hinder a proper response to a literary text. The results revealed the variety and depth of misreadings that both university students and laymen alike could fall into. Richards believed that effective literary interpretation required a closer aesthetic examination of the text itself. To support his ideas, he developed theories on metaphor, value, tone, stock response, incipient action, pseudo-statement, and ambiguity. The theory of ambiguity, further expanded by his former student William Empson in Seven Types of Ambiguity, became a foundational document for the methodology of the new criticism. Richards argued that literary criticism should strive for precision and communicate meanings through denotation and connotation. He examined the psychological processes of writing and reading poetry, asserting that the importance of poetry lies in its ability to evoke emotions in the reader, rather than being a medium for belief. He also proposed the new rhetoric, a study of the meaning of discourse parts, focusing on understanding and resolving misunderstandings. To enhance understanding of how words acquire meaning, Richards and Ogden created the semantic triangle. This model consists of three parts, the symbol or word, the referent, and the thought or reference. The triangle demonstrates that meanings are not inherent to words themselves but are shaped by the perception of the reader, listener, or viewer. It highlights the importance of word usage in both spoken and written language in determining meaning. I. A. Richards's philosophy of aesthetics and literary criticism provides valuable insights applicable to our daily lives. It teaches us to approach literature with a critical mindset, questioning our own interpretations and recognizing the potential for misreadings. Furthermore, his emphasis on precision and communication can be beneficial in our everyday interactions, encouraging us to be mindful of the words we use and how they may be perceived. By understanding the power of language and the complexities of interpretation, we can navigate the nuances of communication more effectively. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.